Hello everybody, my name is Dizzy, and welcome back to Call of the Wild the Angler. It's been uh, a, a, a fair old while since we were last in here. Let's jump back into Golden Ridge Reserve, see how it's doing, how it's been doing in our absence. This is, if the, the, the name didn't give it away, a fishing game. But there's some water. It, it will have fish in it. Ah, uh, good grief. Let's, I'm just gonna sort of lazily start casting something out while I speak. Um, I've had quite a day. I've had quite a week, to be honest. Um, spent the morning doing work in the garden, so I'm absolutely shattered. Uh, I've had to need of something that's a bit chill, and that will hopefully be this game. So uh, we're definitely not going to be after any sort of stonking huge fish today. Although this looks like a nice little catfish, which will serve us well. I love catfish. They are my favourite fish in the game. They're also one of the harder to catch fish in the game. There we go. Uh, one of the things I always have when I play uh, the angler is uh, my little map of where all the, the fishy locations are uh, that I've curated for myself. And you can see up here, this is where we are. Big map for you. This is the uh, Ruby River Range outpost. And we're across the lake and up the hill from that. This is the best spot in the game that I've ever, ever, ever found uh, for catfish. You don't just get catfish here, there's sort of all sorts in this lake. Um, but if you throw out a frog, you will get a catfish sooner rather than later, even at sort of this time of day when we've just started the game, uh, which is nice. Anyway. What are we going to do today? Well, let's have a look at what quests we have. What are you? What was that? What is that fish? Something struck. I, I cast too far in my haste. Pike. Um, I wonder if that was a white fish. Hang on. Sorry, I'm not necessarily well set up. Let's see if I can attract whoever it was back. They might be long gone by now. Someone's coming from above. Her. There, there they are. Let's have a look and see what you are. You are a white fish and a fairly chunky one too. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> I think I did know there were white fish here. Um, yeah, I did know there were white fish here. But I guess I was not expecting that one to be quite so large. Or quite so active, given it's the middle of the day. Anyway, uh, let's look at our journal. What missions do we have? We still have the Golden Tour to finish. Um, or. One of the things we can do is if we head back to Diamond's Peak, there are missions on a board for us. Uh, we also have Warden Favours. We can find dinosaur bones, petrified trees, Bigfoot tracks, weather stations, floating weather stations. 
GPS stations, loose drive, awkward, toad flags, hounds tongue. Got quite a few of those, but they're, they're just sort of found by going around the map. They're not particularly easy to target. So yes, we have this this board. Uh, we have where is it? We have that board over there. This is uh, like tutorial missions. First time visiting information boards. Uh, we have, I believe, done all of these now. Fairly confident. Uh, so these are the, the, the challenge missions, I suppose. We have, can you catch a fish? Or, photo challenge. I don't know what this is. I suppose you have to find the place that's in the photo, perhaps. Might be an interesting one. A map challenge. Which I guess means go to a certain specific place and catch a fish. Uh, let's take on... Let's take on this challenge. Can you catch a fish? Diamond's Peak Fishing Challenge 1. Catch a silver rank yellow perch at the location. Okay. Oh. This is a new category in our missions. Right. So there's the location. It's not far away. We have to catch a yellow perch. Well, it's a good time of day for it. I'm just vaguely surprised this isn't showing up on my uh, this screen. It's only showing up on my map. Uh, but whatever. Catch a silver rank yellow patch. Right, first thing. Can we see any perch? So that would make this a lot easier. somebody over there. Not sure who. Could feasibly have been a perch. Let's uh, <clears throat> grab out our perch fishing sort of setup. Pop you down in the water. And while we're waiting we'll have a look at the other perch entry. Like red one, blood one, and leeches for sure. The golden trout. Oh, shut up about the golden trout. <laughs> um. Oh, hello. That might be a yellow perch already. Let's have a look. It is a yellow perch. It is a silver rank. Well, that wasn't the most challenging thing. Now I have to go and talk to Sophia Taylor. Interesting. I've never had a mission that we've had to complete by talking to someone before. In this game, obviously. Proficient game is an awful lot of running around. Uh, what? Why is that pointing me over there? Okay, I don't know what was up with that waypoint. It wasn't the way we needed to go. Luckily, I realised quite quickly. Talk to the shopkeeper. A real life customer? Maybe. Come in, come on in. 
If I didn't have a shop to run, I'd go down to catch that yellow perch again myself. I mean, it wasn't that special, as, as fish go. Alright, mission one complete. We're, we're 11 minutes into the stream. We're doing fantastically. Um, just going to remember to have my little chatty app up so I can monitor the chat. Let's... do I have the photo? I don't have a photo in mind. Okay, let's take this photo challenge. Diamond's Peak photo challenge. Catch a small rank smallmouth silver rank smallmouth bass at the photo location. Okay, objectives find the photo location. Do I have this? Is this the photo location? Or is that the photo location? I'm not I'm not sure which one I want. Let's assume they mean this, and let's assume it's not going to be marked on my map, which it isn't. Okay, so... Uh, let's see, what can we see? Those buildings over there, I don't think they're part of the Diamond's Peak Outpost. I think that could be the sawmill. Oh, that might be the watermill, actually, because it's got a, a wheel. I've not been to the watermill. That's one of the things, it's one of the few remaining things left on my uh, Golden Tour mission. I've got, like, the hot springs. Is it the Vista? Oh, apparently I have been to the watermill. The watermill is Spines Drop. Okay, Lumber Mill. Uh, I'm, I must have been to a watermill. Damned if I can find it though. Silver mine hasn't held down. Maybe the watermill was over here? I think it was, but maybe. Oh, there's the watermill. I'm just being particularly daft. Uh, that's okay, we can head there. Yeah, I think it's going to be this, because I, it could be this area. I'll have a, have a look-see. It's got to have a bridge in the shot. I don't think either of the bridges around here are the right bridge. Oh! That could be the right bridge, but I don't think the other things are right for it. Oh, I fell in the water. I don't think this is right either, is it? Needs to be a building near the bridge, and specifically a watermill building near the bridge, or a water wheel mill building, I should say. Okay, so I don't think it's here. Right, so let's let's travel to this one. Grab our car and go on a road trip.
Oh, 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 oh. Dizzy's driving is famous across the Nine Realms for being terrifying and usually ending up in a tree. Now, or a sign. Luckily, the car doesn't take damage. I think we're turning right here. Yes, we are. Continue on to this junction. Ow. <laughs> I, I quite enjoy travelling by car in this game. It's just kind of a little bit of a shame that it's not really, like, part of the game. Or it doesn't feel like a, a full part of the game sort of thing. Because, like, it's a, it's a fishing game. There's no real reason why you, can't do, you couldn't just have all the fast travel points unlocked to start with. Or even just fast travel to any point on the map. You know, those both work. That looks very promising over there. I want to go to this. And unlock it as a new fast travel point. We gotta have a look around because there's typically a collectible somewhere. Not one of these collectibles, although that's also good to get. But typically there's like a, a pickup collectible. Oh! These houses are like occupied. There's actually people living and working here. That's cool. Uh, we will be able to identify a collectible by the sort of singing noise it makes. And by this glowing red outline. Humphrey G. Hushin Beth 1. My name is Humphrey G. Hushenbeth. If you're reading this, I'm likely dead. Or I might be alive. There's a lot of uncertainty and I wanted to hedge my pets. I saw a footprint. This wasn't just a human one. I consulted my human footprint guide and cross-referenced my elk and moose grimoire just to be safe. What we're dealing with here is either a Bigfoot, an obese Wendigo, or any of the subsection of large birds as I seem to have misplaced those entries. However, I digress. <laughs> this is potentially and probably Bigfoot. I do not feel scared, so it cannot be a trumpeter swan. Oh god, it's the swan guy. Um, yeah, so there's there's various sort of series of notes that we found along the way. S some of them more serious than others. Uh, there's some like genuinely, you know, thoughtful, uh, like history of the area, um, history of. of Native American stuff and legacy of sort of colonialism and, and then imperialism and then capitalism. Some of that's genuinely well thought through. Right, I need to have that life boy on my left side. We sit about here. And it's time to catch a largemouth bass, which is typically easiest done, not with this, but with the same frog you were using to catch catfish earlier. I should have checked my mission before to see if there was a requirement on size, although oh, it's unlikely to matter as I'm just sort of going to fish until I stop hitting things. Oh, you know what I should do as well is uh, I should activate the mission that I'm supposed to be on instead of this mission. Oh, it doesn't think I found the photo location yet. Uh, 
Well, we caught a largemouth bass. Why do you think I haven't found the photo location? This is definitely the photo location. Oh, do you want me to be at the mill? Not where the photo was taken, but where the photo is pointing at. That's a possibility. I had naively assumed you wanted me to be standing where the photo was. Work is allowed to keep working, which makes its work that much worse. I just hope this thing stops spinning before the world does. If I'm around to see it, all the better. I see. He's a uh, old play. He's not very happy about all of the uh, history of the reserve. Quite rightly too. Ooh, there's a little train tunnel up there. Might see if I can put my nose in that after I've. Caught something. Right. I have found the football location. Oh! Oh! Oh, it made me do a little chick noise. Okay. That's a bass. Catch a silver rank smallmouth bass, specifically. Okay. So I have to do anything like Regis, like going for a diamond. Oh, someone's coming to my thing straight away. Couldn't really see what he was. He's a bass. I'm not good enough at telling the two types apart. Smallmouth bass, silver rank. Fantastic. God, it's like this was planned. And then we have to go talk to the shopkeeper. Uh, what I am going to do is have a look at my little map, uh, which I'm apparently not tabbed out of correctly. So uh, that's interesting. There are we are. Yeah. Okay. Just going to go and pop uh, some markers down for large and small mouth bass. Yep. So we know they're both here. Uh, I guess time to fast travel back home. Oh no, I wanted to check out the uh Can I jump into this? Ah, I can't necessarily jump, but I can Oh no, okay. I can't get onto it, that's a shame. Uh let's go have a look at this uh railway tunnel. Cause I love a railway and I love a good tunnel. I know they had a gate there, but like, I don't follow the rules, because I'm Clay's little buckaroo. Uh, hmm, this tunnel is looking more and more like it's full of rocks. I don't think the, uh, the railway is going to be very functional. Oh, excellent! This is exactly what I was hoping to see. These are some finger bones, maybe toe bones?
You, you, you not got anything to say? No? Okay. I was sort of hoping for some lore on the, the fossils. What's at the other end of the railway? Or is this the, the terminus? Sorry, I had a desperate urge to suddenly check in case I was muted and had been muted for half an hour. That would have been pretty bad. I guess it's the end of the line for me. Oh, I've actually popped out on top of one of the buffers. That's nice. Um, in the absence of any... Oh, I should have an explore, actually. I should have a proper explore on foot. Just in case there's stuff to find beyond the, uh, the old knuckle bone. <clears throat> Poor Clay Blessing. He's not super up on all of the, the dinosaurs. Last thing I found, I think he called it a Stegosaurus. It was not a Stegosaurus. Can I, can I get on this? Yes, I can. Up on the thing? No, okay, I have to go around. Fine. It's nice to have a good little explore. Oh my god. It's a horrible monkey. Da, I knew it. What have we got? California Pacific International Exposition Half Dollar. That's a mouthful. Uh, the California Pacific International Exposition Half Dollar is a commemorative 50 cent piece struck by the US Bureau of the Mint in 3536. Designed by Robert I. Aitken, did not sell well, with many coins returned to the Bureau. If you had a collector's coin, no matter how bad, would you really return it to the Bureau? How bad does a coin need to be that you send it back? Oh, there's an invisible wall. Ah, okay. Sorry, I should stop tempting a horrible death for myself. As fun as it may be. Uh, I'm guessing that's it in terms of stuff to pick up. I wouldn't necessarily expect there to be anything else. Is this like a... Probably not. No, okay. Alright, well we've had our explore. Time to head home. Salutations! Beautiful day we're having. Uh -huh. I caught a fish. About that bath. Very impressive. <laughs> okay, sure, cool, whatever. Um, mission three, I guess. Gosh, we're doing very well. Uh, I hope, hopefully, I will. Map challenge. Diamond's Peak map challenge one. Catch a silver rank largemouth bass at the map location. Okay, that's an island in the middle of the lake. Here. I guess we're going by boat. Catch you later then. This toy she said bye to me. Once is usually considered sufficient. Unless you're like a hopeless romantic saying goodbye to your love. Which you're not. 
Uh, and Clay's back. Uh, it's fine. Uh, there's enough for me to go around. Uh, dear. Oh dear, Dizzy. You're in your big mouth. Right, into the boat. Wonder vaguely if I've reported this one up ahead. Well, I think there's. I think you know when there's one more of these that I haven't reported actually. I think I've seen it while mucking about off stream. So we have reported this one. Boat is is a bit tumultuously docked. Uh, I guess there's no car on the island. Can't call one to me. I wonder if any of these busted old trees are reportable. I may have been here already and reported the one. Guess not. That's okay. Oh, I found the map location apparently. Does it want me to fish in the in the lake, which is where I assumed it wanted me to fish, or, or sorry, in the in the pond or in the big lake? I'm going to assume it wants me in the pond. Well, located new water body. Now the table set for a little loose drive cookout. Bring yourself some coleslaw or some mac and cheese, because I get peckish when I'm conflagrating. Leave the raisins at home, though, Buck. If it ain't good for no dog, it's no good for <laughs> Okay. Good to know about Clay is he won't eat raisins because dogs can't eat them. That's perfectly rationable and sensible approach to take. Um yeah, I can have a look at the water body. Fish in area, largemouth bass. Well I guess this is where it wants me to fish then. Uh they'll probably be perfectly happy with a, a frog. They typically are. Whoops. Right. Come here. How are we doing? Silver largemouth bass. Marvelous. Uh, gonna pop this on the uh, on map. X marks the spot. There we go. Let's see if we can catch one more for good luck. I noticed there was one jump, jumping about. So, uh, well, there's a pike here as well. That's interesting. You're not on the list. You're not on the list of fish what are supposed to be here, Mr. Pike. It's a large pike, but even so, you should know your place, sir. Okay. I'm glad I stuck around now. Is there anyone else that shouldn't be here? Lots of bugs. Lots of bugs. How big is this actual island? It's not that big. I did not explore this at all. I don't think I've ever landed here. Except maybe to get some trees, I guess.
Oh my god, listen to that! It's like we're in the jungle! I don't, know what, I don't know why this island goes so hard. Um, it's just pulling out all the stops. Tell you what, I am very glad that the walking and running are so much faster in this than they are in the Hunter. Um, Travelling everywhere in this map at Hunter speeds would be absolutely nightmarish. Uh, also, the hills are a lot easier to climb. Oh, I thought there might be something else here. Oh, have I really already reported to you? That's disappointing. No. Oh. Okay. Well, that's probably the only collectible on this part of the island then. I should stop using collectible for, like, two different types of things. Really, shouldn't I? I should just stick to one. I'm not going to, but I should. Well, while we go, you must let's have a look. Nope. You're very welcome. I actually hear about this. Spot on, but the fish I wanted to. You're a natural. Thanks. I couldn't really come back without the fish you wanted, could I? Hi. All right. Let's go. I mean, all of these challenges are basically the same. Uh, they're all go to spots, catch specific fish. I assume that, that level 2 will be a gold rank and level 3 will be a diamond rank for each of them. Uh, which I'm not looking forward to. Diamond Peak Fishing Challenge 2. Go to Quartz River, catch a gold rank smallmouth bass. Okay. That's Quartz River. What's up here? Do I know anything about this place? A map? Not really. Grab a car, head a little way down the road. Turn right. Can I get out of the car, please? Thank you. Catch a gold rank smallmouth bass. Okay, we might be here a little longer than this. I have been down here. I claimed this one. I know you can't tell that it's claimed because I finished the quest, but I claimed this one. Specifically. Right. We're back to the frog. Because why would we use anything else?
and we got a strike. Depending on what's here, like we could be we could be waiting for plenty of fish. Silver smallmouth. I suppose I could also try increasing the size of my frog. Get a bigger frog, get bigger fish. I've never tried using any other frog size than this. I have caught gold smallmouth on this. Here he comes. Another silver, a smaller silver this time. Oh, look at that guy, he's very keen. Here comes someone. There was one that just surfaced in the water about where the end of my rod is there. He looked, um, he looked fairly hefty. I might do a short cast, see if I can tag him. was Trixie. You was Trixie, you were. Nope, actually no bigger. Oh, okay. I can't cast fully across there. Here we go. Came from right over there, didn't you? Another silver. Maybe I will have to increase my frog size. Oh, here comes fish. One point three seven kilo. Oh, blimey, that was quick. Barely even had time to 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 register that, that was happening.
What I've discovered is I'm very good at catching specifically silver-sized smallmouth bass. Uh, I should actually also put the smallmouth bass on the uh, on the map while I remember it. There we go. Once we are in, Jesus, this frog is scarily effective. You don't look that big. Jumping up the water there. Oh, you were heftier than some of those we've caught so far. Someone was straightening on that. You're looking all right, size. There we go. Gold. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Oh my god, we are absolutely flying through these quests. Jesus Christ. Uh, that was the tiniest little baby fish I just saw jump out of the water there. There might be rainbow trout around here. I don't feel like I'm in desperate need of rainbow trout. I'll dangle a line just in case. Just for a little while. If nothing else will give me time to peel this dang thing. we all doing today? Maybe, just maybe, I found the only place in the world that has no rainbow trout. Either way, I'm happy to call that a day, a very successful day. Back to the shopkeeper. That's French for the shopkeeper. Something in the way you walk. You want to buy some baits? I can tell. You know, uh, it's, it's just a spiel, but I should have a look and make sure I've got enough. I might be could do with some more eggs. I'm gonna find out everything else. Okay, I'll grab some more eggs. The mouth is the only thing small about that bass. You already used Very that one. Impressive. Get your gear here. There we go. These salmon eggs are so good you could eat them. Well, if I hadn't spent my time laboriously treating them for use as fish bait. <laughs> but they look delectable. Okay. Next mission, please. I'll be right here with the bargain. Oh, love a bargain, I do. Okay. I'm sensing a problem with this quest. Oh, there we go. Oh, wowzers! Um... Okay, well I know where that is. It's at the waterfall. We were there the other day, but oinsky boinsky. 
That's a neat idea, I think. Um, yeah, it's here. The prospect of catching a fish here is certainly an interesting one. Now, last time, it wanted me to catch one from the place that was in the photo, not from where the photo was taken. However, I'm not really sure where that would be in sensible terms. I guess I can check up there. Last time I was here I had a car, which made climbing the stairs a lot less painful, surprisingly. I should also take that waypoint off, because it's distracting and confusing me. Okay, I guess it doesn't want here then. Nope. Okay. Try down at the bottom of the waterfall then, I guess. Sadly, although there's no fall damage in the game, there's like a maximum full height, after which it'll just respawn you. Which I think is a shame, because I absolutely love to just kind of, you know, do this. Uh, this is not killing me. There we go, okay. Um, <laughs> it's not killing me, however, I'm not quite certain how to get back. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was somewhere I was not supposed to be and nearly, nearly paid the price for that. Where would that photo have been taken from? Down on the ground amongst the pines, I guess. Still way too high. Down in somewhere. Hmm. It's a nice, interesting blue green rock there. Is it one here? Is that? There we go. To get close enough, it does pop up. Right. I'm sorry, what? You were just pointing me over here. Now, now where do you want me? Do you want me 112 meters up in the air? I don't think that's going to happen. Um, you're very ambitious, game. Okay, here I guess is what it wants. Catch a gold rank yellow perch. Are there even any fish in the water here at all? <laughs> uh, actually, have I got the right things on? Yeah. 
saying. Well, I'll throw it in. I wouldn't expect miracles. Oh, there is a fish here. It's not a yellow perch, but it's a fish. I think this is a mountain white fish. It's a little hard to tell. He's going to have real trouble because the fast moving streams like this, your father does strange things. No, that's a. Oh my god, it's a rainbow trout. Of course it's a rainbow trout. What else would it be? Uh, where are you on the map? Let's have a look. Uh, to do. Over here. Sort of here, I should. Rainbow trout. Pop a little X down. I could cast into this. This would not work for normal fishing. It might not work for this fishing. But you never know until you try. Are you sure you want me here and not not down where I was before? Are you absolutely certain, game? Ah, uh, there's no point. Yes. It's a disaster waiting to happen. I'll pop back in here. Oh, someone's coming. That might even be a yellow perch, you know. Uh, yeah, the way the, the bobber gets kind of pushed around by the current means that the fish will gain and lose interest. You look quite small. Not going to lie. As you see, he had interest and now he's lost it again. I think it's because the, it, the game sort of thinks the bobber is out of the water for a bit. Even when it's not. I sort of figured if I put that over there, it would drift into the path of this little guy. Um, but it is, in fact, not doing that. <laughs> it's really inconspicuous. Come on! I'll get the tasty bloodworms! Yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. Yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. Nope. He had a look. He lost interest. Yeah, that's near if he turned his nose up. Back. He's gonna have another sniff. Ah. Yeah, these these streams are awkward to catch stuff in. Again, not nowhere near as awkward as they'd be in real life, where the waterfall would just carry your bobber over it straight away. But awkward. Uh, 
what size are you? You are a baby. You are an absolute baby. <laughs> Cast in again. I think this is like actually spawning the fish. I don't think they're there before we cast. Because you can see the bottom, there's no fish around. And the only fish you ever see at any given time is the one that's interested in your bobber. Uh, but hey, who would have guessed you could catch yellow perch here? Not me. Not me at all. sort of wonder if I should go up a hook size, but I, again, I have caught gold yellow perch on the smallest hook, and they don't tend to come for when I use the bigger hook. Do it, I'll give it a go. I'll see what it spawns, if it spawns anything. That is looking like a big fat nothing, isn't it? I think I shouldn't have moved down. Maybe that was a bad decision. Kind of too late to change it. Uh, yellow perch. What does the handbook say? Not the handbook. The uh... yellow perch. Sorry. Doesn't say. Maybe I bought it up by moving. Do I think I can get back? I do not think I can get back. Oh, okay, now I can get back. There we go. <clears throat> I've caught the moving spinner bait. I'm trying to remember what, what lures I'd use for for yellow perch. I I definitely have caught them on a regular spinner before, because I caught some when I was uh, whitefish fishing, but not like very effective. There don't seem to be anyone around anymore, does there? They're not, uh... They're not afraid of people, are they? No, they're not. They are afraid of the dark. This is a stupid place to fish. Why am I fishing here? Another conundrum to ask yourself.
probably get the trolley car on it. Yes. This is a sick boy. Oh, I got your interest straight away. You're bigger than the ones we've caught so far as well, aren't you? Silver yellow perch. Okay. Maybe we'll 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 give the spinner bait a few tries. It's so difficult to tell the time in this game. I'm sort of vaguely wondering if it's getting too late. Yellow punch. That's why there's less of the Also, I'm doing this up down motion is going to be off putting. So perhaps I might try casting from a lower elevation. Come on, Perch boys. Come on, I know you're in here. Oh my god, that was a fish jumping there. Right underneath the waterfall he jumped. I have no idea where my bobber is, or where my lure is, rather. I guess there are people up here. People with fish. Imagine doing this in real life, just standing right next to, to this thundering thing and flopping in a tiny little fake whatever. Oh, can I not? I can't cast while I'm crouched. Can I short cast while I'm crouched? No. This is one of the times when I really like to have more control over the length of my cast. Because 10 meters doesn't quite cut it. Oh, hello, we got someone interested now. Swim, little fishy! There we go. How big are you? Silver again. Not ideal. Better than nothing. It means we're doing something right. Hmm. 
mean, you can see how these are getting hard of these challenges. Let's see if there's anyone. Contempt. Guess not. I couldn't really see anything because my rod was in the way, but I guess not. I presume it is possible to cast off off the waterfall and like miss. Oh, I guess not with a short cast. We're not having loads of luck. I mean, this is always going to be a tool of fishing in this spot. My plan was that today I'd only go for a couple hours. So, we won't be going past two, in theory. So we don't have that long left to kind of complete this challenge, but it's it's interesting. Like, this is definitely one of the most interesting fishing experiences I've had in this game. There's a fishy boy. You interested in a little bit of this? Not open some bait. Open some bait for you. See if that is more enticing. Hmm? Here comes somebody. I don't think that's the one I saw. Here comes somebody. Oh, my game just had a big jank there. What have we got? What have we got for ourselves? You're a babby! You're a bronze! Okay. This is actually a very silly place because this bobber might drift behind a rock. The line will be in trouble. Well, we've got a fish going for the thing. Looks moderately large, but that might just mean it's a juvenile rainbow trout instead of being a yellow perch. Ugh. Just pull it in. Pull it in. Oh, I'm sorry, whoever you are. I missed you. I hope you'll come back though. It was a bit ambitious trying to get that low. Let's 
I think Clement Wallace has decided that it just is. That's a little fishy. Hello. You just in this at all? I think you're a trout. Ouch. But I don't mind. I won't hold it against you, I promise. Violent up downing motion is really not helping my case here. Okay. Let's get back to this. I think you are a per uh, a trout. Oh hello, God there's a perch coming in at a record pace. Over there. Looks like he's having a bit of a problem. He's struggling with the current. You look fairly large. You could be our gold. What do we think? Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Got him. Woo! That was very interesting. This is a very interesting spot to fish. I wonder if it would have counted if I if I'd fished just like down there in a much more conventional place. I don't know. Uh, oh, the lighting is having all sorts of little dance party over there. Look, um, but very happy with that. Uh, Lovely afternoon for a fish, or perhaps a purchase? Nope, a fish. If I didn't have a shop to run, I'd go down to catch that yellow perch again myself. Well, wow, I'm getting lots of reputation from this. I was at 50 when we started today. I've nearly tripled that. Um, I know where you live. Okay, let's go for map challenge two. Catch a gold rank large mouth. Okay, that's fine. It's just here, isn't it? Do I want to buy a bigger frog? Let's buy the bigger frog. Whoops. Just so I've got it handy in case I decide I need it. Oh, I've got no room. First time I saw these, I thought they were real. And if they can fool me, they can sure fool a fish. Well, let's drop the popper, because I never... Apparently I've mastered the popper, but I don't feel like I get much use out of the popper. Have a browse. Oops. Somewhere, but anyone who's anyone starts with the greenhorn. This baby has a smoother learning curve than a minnow spin. Alright, so we've got our small frog, and we have our slightly larger frog, which has a cool red back, which I like. First time I saw these, I thought they were real. And if they uh, were, they where's the best fast travel point? <laughs> I suppose here and then down to here. Okay. Oh, 
gosh, that's some spooky wind. Grab a car. Go on the drive. We've now driven this bit of road quite a few times. It would probably help if we didn't do the whole thing at 50. Um, but we are, of course, going to continue to do the whole thing at 50. Uh, right. Turn right here? It was turn right here, wasn't it? Yes. Yes, over to here. Oh my god, that was a lot of air. Poor. Oh. Ah! I think I just... <laughs> I think I just... I think I just grinded on the, on the bridge rail. <laughs> in the car! In the jeep! <laughs> well, that's certainly one way to... Uh... To travel, gee, Kavika bow. Hello, is that a big Maybe not. Maybe it's just a puddle. Um I'm lost. Where am I supposed to be going? I lost the path straight away. And I lost where I'm supposed to be going. I was supposed to be going down here, aren't I? There we go. It's not on the path. It's apparently this way. Oh, must be very turned around. Wait. Do I want this river bend or this river bend? Hang on. Uh, oh, I want. I want this river bend. I was was going the right way the first time. <laughs> um, where the hell is the path? I suppose this is the path. Sometimes the path is very difficult to make out from the driver's seat. Especially when you're going at 50. Uh, let's travel a little slower. A little smarter. Okay. There we are. Not killing trees. Maybe driving over a few trees. What's that over there? I always sound like a, a video game character doing a bark when I say that. What's that over there? Um, it turns out that that over there is not anything. Curious. That's a lovely open field here. Completely empty, but lovely and open. Maybe I'll drive the car up there in a sec. Once we've caught our largemouth bass. Uh, I'm here. I found it. Have a knife.
Do I have to be on the road? No, I'm at the wrong bit. Am I? Am I at the wrong bit? This river bend, hang on, looks almost exactly the same, right? But the islands are slightly different. But I mean, it's got this feature on the on the road system. It's got this path. It doesn't have this path. Ah. Huh. Okay, maybe the map point is somewhere on the road. Let's try going back up the road, I guess. Not quite sure what it wants from me. I've crashed my car over there. Bison sign. Buffalo sign. It's a connoisseur. Okay. I'm pretty sure I'm here. Hmm. Things giving me the runaround. Literally. Right, well, I'm now up to this junction. It's definitely further down than this junction. Maybe these are just made off of like an older version of the map? It's very weird. It's very weird how it's like slightly different. Where's my car? Where is my car? Car? No, we don't car. Hmm. Fine. Turn the mission off. It's around there somewhere. The game is obviously just being finicky. So I'm going to drive up and down a bit and see if I can get it to, to complete. Ow.
Ah, okay. It seems to like that. Somewhere back here, I guess. Okay. Let's grab the old frog. We'll go with the traditional frog first. Depending on how long this takes us, this could be our last challenge. Like, the last one took us there a while. This feels like a fairly strong bite already. Yep, only silver. Largish silver, but uh, only a silver. Dirky. Because the light is also going up. This could be a pike, though, in this fight. No, it is a bass. Oh, you look hefty, blimey. Maybe the largemouth bass has just looked bigger. Oh, Jesus, Clay. <laughs> you scared the daylights out of me, Clay. I, I, I hammered the right click button thinking that you're a fish. <laughs> oh, you're so chunky. That thing coming in the water towards you is like, oof, that's a lot of fish. You can see why that these guys are a sport fish. Like the rainbow trouts, very much less so. The gold trouts, they're piddly little things. Uh, but you can see why these are sport fish. They're, they're big and fat, even if they are ugly as awesome. Um, <laughs> I don't know how big these need to get before they're gold. My best weight is 3.68. Uh, I guess I don't know what the classes are exactly. We might be looking for upwards of three. This one's a bit of a fighter. There we go. Okay, it doesn't have to be three. Maybe upwards of 2.5. Big chunky boy. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Go back and talk to the shopkeeper. I kind of want to keep fishing here. I'm kind of enjoying these largemouth bass today. Not only are I a bit ambivalent on bass, but I'm kind of enjoying these ones. Oh, and I should I should test out the bigger frog. I should test it out to see if it does anything. I'll do that after this cast.
This does not look like a fighter. It's a jumper. Bing, yeah, no problems. Okay. See if I need to go for this bigger frog. test. That wasn't very promising, was it? I like a few more drinks. I might actually go back to my catfishing spot to see if I can grab some bigger catfish on this. Perhaps the larger size might weed out some of the non-catfish targets. I don't, as a rule, try for fishing anything on the side, so I think, okay, well we do get some strikes. We do get some strikes. Blooming rainbow trout! A bronze rainbow trout, no less, on the biggest frog I ever did throw. Sure, fine, I guess, whatever. Bloody rainbow trouts. <laughs> uh, one more, one more test here, then we'll go speak to Sophia, then we'll go to the catfish spot. Oh god, that was instant! Gold smallmouth. Oh, I'm not gonna say no, am I? Okay. So it looks like we can sort of get our usual frog fish on this. Two early days yet to see. I was gonna go to the shop after that, wasn't I? Oh well. Two early days yet to see if it's consistently higher. We did only get a bronze rainbow after all. Oops. Uh, a, a gold smallmouth is promising. Silver large mouth, okay. Maybe not any bigger. Uh, ch -ch 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 talk to the shopkeeper. Oh, that's Even Sophia Taylor of Taylor Sackles. Not only spot on, but the fish I wanted to. You're a natural. Amazing. Um, we do have the level three missions here to do. There's still more to buy. Come back. 
Uh, I might. Also, I've had a look here. Set my class trouble. After I've had a look here, if we have any time left, I might see if there's different missions for the different outposts, because I'm guessing there will be. Uh. Isn't there a road going this way? Oh, there is. It's over here. Now, um, road, road. What the hell? What's going on with this road? Oh, I actually tipped the car. <laughs> right. Road. Follow road. What even is that? I think it's interesting that when your car is coasting it still makes the engine noise. Because the engine noise is obviously just correlated to how fast you're going, not like how much you're holding the accelerator. Like at the moment I'm not pushing any buttons. But it's still making engine noise. Now, I'm pushing left and right, I'm not holding W at all. But it's still making not only engine noise, but gear change noises. Okay, let's go. Um, oh, let's not drive into the lake, that would be real good. Here, turn left, not that left! Okay, we saved it, we saved it. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's perfectly fine. Where do we where were we fishing from before? Not here. I guess plausibly over here. It feels right. Oh, there's a big old pike there. I can't not go for him. Oh, somebody else has, has got it before him. Right, okay, yes, people are still quite keen for this size 5 frog. This might actually be a different part. Where are you? No, you're a bass. Okay, let's see if we can tempt that pike. Oh my god, this is a monster. Look at that thing! Look how big that thing is! <laughs> I've never I've never had a pike that large that has fought that little before either. What the hell? Um Blimey, right. Let's throw that in. Let's go to the map and get a low waypoint, because it's annoying me. So what I really want is to be able to catch bigger catfish more consistently. That's the dream. Catfish are the be all and end all of this game. Ah, uh, in my 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 obviously objectively correct opinion. There was another large pike over there on the right. 
Slow it down so whoever this is can catch up. Oh, better. Oh, oh, shiny silver catfish. Love that. Right, there was a big pike somewhere over there. Let's see exactly where. Look how far. It might have been an overcast. I should be aiming for large pike. I hate fighting large pike. I'm being an idiot by doing this. Anyone here for all froggy? Come on, there was a big old pike there. Where'd you go? As it gets darker, it becomes harder and harder to see anything. Hmm. I think that pipe might have got away. It's a little unfortunate. Let's throw in a minnow to try and tempt him out. Uh, rods. Minnow. Give that a go. I can also adjust this to be more on top of it. I think he was sort of there. See if he wants to go for that. This might be my last cast of the stream. I think if no one goes for this, then uh, maybe I'll leave it at that. I've had fun! We've done a lot of missions! A lot more missions than I was expecting to do. Oh. He's obviously gone to bed. <laughs> Uh, what do I have to say as we're sort of closing up? Uh, new mic is on the way, it's been dispatched apparently. Uh, Amazon sent me the email to say it's dispatched, they also sent me an email saying I get have a much off an Xbox Game Pass for PC subscription if I want to do that. So here's a reminder to you all, don't ever get games on subscription, get them as purchases, get physical copies if you can, although I know that's difficult with PC gaming nowadays. Uh, yeah, don't buy Xbox Game Pass. That's a that's a dizzy top tip for you. Uh, but yes, so so tinny sounding dizzy. Well, hopefully, because these people splashing around. This tinny sounding dizzy will hopefully be consigned to the wastebasket of stream history fairly soon. Oh, something I think we'd all be grateful for. Oh, look. I didn't give one before going, even though I said that was going to be the last one. Because I'm bad at committing to things like this, I guess. Uh, it's, we're going to be running it completely in the dark, because I can't see a thing. The sun's come out behind my monitor.
I'm not sure what the most effective pike thing is. Normally I've been trying to get anything but pike. I think there's somebody following me. There we go. Who's this? Come here. You're my last catch of the day. Ah, oh, catfish! A lovely way to end the stream. Um, with my favourite little fish. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Uh, that's gonna be it from me for today. Um. So thank you everyone very much for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed this little angling experience, uh, do please consider dropping a follow uh, down below. Uh, or if you're watching this later on YouTube, maybe leave a like. Consider even subscribing if you want to see more content like this. There will be more of the angler in the future, but don't expect a lot of it compared with, say, The Hunter, uh, made by the same people, another beautiful game, uh, which I play a lot. I play that every week pretty much. Uh, it's one of my favourite games to stream. Uh, I will be back on Monday, in theory, playing maybe some Prospera, maybe some Potion Permit. I'm not sure which. It'll almost certainly be one of those two. Uh, you can find out when I go live by following me on Twitter at Tears for Demise, which is where I send out a tweet every time I go live. I also tweet out various other things like polls, if there's an option for what content people want to see, and you know, just generally updates on big fish I catch, tiny weeny little babby 0.04 kilo fish I catch. Uh, various things go up on my Twitter. Uh, I think that's everything for me. So all I have to say is, uh, my name has been Dizzy, thank you everyone so much for watching, I will see you all next time. Ta-ra! Bye!